And welcome, everybody, to another edition of Mythologic Radio. Uh, my name is Tom Morasso, and tonight we have a uh, uh, special guest. Uh, Michael Skoronsky is uh, the author of the book Unforgettable. Thanks, Tom. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, it's an honor to have you. I understand you, you, you know a little bit about the Law of Attraction, yeah, yeah, I do. Law of attraction, that's something that um I work with all the time. It's it's all really intermixed in with these spiritual principles, you know. The law of uh-huh. attraction basically says that we're going to attract events and experiences into our life that that uh, match up with our vibration, our dominant vibration and the many many various vibrations that we have. And it's um it's a bit like um you know, what what are you tuned into? You're, you know, we we walk through life and I have a desire for, you know, let's say I, I have a penchant for blonde, you know, blonde girls, you know. So if a if a blonde girl walks by, boy, I'm going to notice that, you know. But right. if um, if a woman walks by and she's not the right age, not the right shape, not the right hair color or whatever, you know, I won't even give her a second look. It's that kind of a thing. That's what law of attraction is like. You, there's millions of things walking by your life, moving through your experience. But what is it that you're attracted to, and what is it that's going to be attracted to you? It's like a magnet, and the two ends are both coming to each other. Mm. And I think that um, a lot of people get the um, can get the wrong idea because there's a lot of people out there basically selling law of attraction like, you know, you just change one thought and you're going to be rich now, you know, next mm-hmm. week. And, you know, you can get that impression from some of the people that are out there teaching it or at least from their advertising and the promotions. And um, and so and I, I see a lot of people getting that idea, whether they get it and they go crazy with it and think they're going to be rich next week or whether they get it and they get upset with people who are teaching spiritual principles and saying, oh, these guys are full of baloney because they're trying to make you think you're going to get you know, whatever it is you want just by changing a single thought. And it's not like that. And when you look deeper into what these teachers are teaching, they're not teaching that. Most of the ones that I've looked at, you know, even if their ads kind of lead you to believe you can have anything you want anytime you want, um, you know, they're really not teaching it quite like that. They're They're giving more of the details in there if you get into their teachings. Um, but the thing is, the more you can um, clarify your energy, the more you can go with the flow of life, you'll start to see an interesting pattern, especially, and you have to be observing, you have to be watching. If you watch your thoughts and you're aware of what it is that you really want out of life, uh, a lot of us hide those things because some of those things that we want are contrary to what our family might want us to want or what our mm-hmm. society might want us to want. Uh, and so we tend to act as if, oh, I don't really want that because, you know, if we if we claim that we wanted that, well, someone would look at you and go, oh, you're a sicko or, mm-hmm. you know, you're breaking the law or you're whatever, you know, you're a bad person. So a lot of us are in denial about our own thoughts even. But if you can get out of that denial and you can be honest with yourself and understand truly what it is that you really want from life, and you can relax enough to go with the flow, not let your fears and worries get in the way, not let your judgments get in the way, what ends up happening is you find yourself in a process whereby something will happen and perhaps it's not what you wanted to happen. You might lose something. You might lose a relationship, you know, or you might, for example, this this book, like I said, is my wife dies in it, you know. It wasn't something I wanted to have happen. But... Um, as a result of her death, many things that I did want to have happen in my life ended up happening. Many experiences that I wanted to experience ended up occurring, and they occurred over the next many years of time, and they wouldn't have occurred if my wife, Catherine, had not have died. And, and, and the events that occur in our life are events that are molding you and shaping you and preparing you and getting you ready it's kind of like life says, well, you asked for this, so here's the path that you know that's going to get you there. We have to take this out of your life so that you can get over whatever this thing is that it's got you with, and you can experience this other thing, and then you'll be ready for this next thing you've asked for. And without that experience, you won't be ready for it. You won't be able to accept it. And so law of attraction is a very interesting law. It, um, there's, it's a very... It's, 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 it can be complicated in in terms of understanding it, but if you observe your life 
you observe your desires, you observe your mind, you go with the flow of life, you'll see that you eventually get everything that you want. The things that are coming to you are things you have been asking for, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. And people ask for things with their focus. You know, even if you're saying, I don't want something, in the don't wanting of it, you're focusing upon it, which is, you know, bringing more of it to you. It's, that's one of the ways right. that we attract things to us. Uh, yeah. You know, when we wrestle with something, it's like those Chinese handcuffs, where uh, thumb cuffs, you know, you, you, put them, yeah. uh, you put them on your thumb and then you start pulling to get out of them, well, you're, you get more stuck in them, you know, and, and that's a bit how law of attraction works. The more you fight against something that you don't want, the more you attract it into your life. <laughs> sure. 